want some chocolate, don't ya? I just use half the bottle. <laughs> Oh, am I excited to do what we're about to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the Mystery Wheel of Fortune Ice Cream Challenge. Here we have three bowls, which are all empty. I need some ice cream. Oh, okay, okay, I, I got some magical powers. Can I have $100? Can I please have $100? Anyways, we found out Unspeakable is a little bit magical. Well, the way this challenge works is we spin the wheel and whatever it lands on. Chocolate, okay. Landed on chocolate, so we put chocolate on our ice cream. So I'm totally okay with that. Now we're gonna start with one bowl at a time. We'll start with this one. We're gonna do four ingredients per ice cream bowl, and some of these might be really gross, and some of them might be really good. However, before we spin the next one, I need you guys real quickly to leave a like on this video and click that subscribe button if it's red and it's just waiting for you to click on it. Because, well, the next couple vlogs you're gonna see on this channel are going to be with a bunch of other YouTubers in Canada, and I promise you don't wanna miss them because we have some insane challenges planned. If that subscribe button is red, click it, please. Oh, and also let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite type of ice cream? Mine personally is chocolate, but today we're using vanilla. Spin number two. See what we get. I'm excited. Not really. I'm nervous. What is gonna come land up? Cookies. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. Cookies and chocolate. I'm cool. So we got some cookies right here. I eat half of them. We'll grab a cookie. This is like a sugar cookie. We'll just break it up. Oh yeah. We're making some good ice cream. Now of course there is consequences on here. Like um, a big loaf of bread. A small loaf of bread. Eggs. Sour Patch Kids. I mean, some people might think Sour Patch Kids and ice cream is good, but I, I don't know about me. Warheads? Oh my gosh. Did I make that? I did, I did. Oh, flip. Why am I doing this to myself? All right, cookie is in there. Nice and fresh. Third spin, here we go. Spin number three. And then we'll do spin number four. And then we'll eat it. Small loaf of bread. Well, here is our small loaf of bread with our ice cream. Let's spin it again. Spin number four, the final spin. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Was that Pop-Tart? That is landing on Pop-Tart, okay. Now, for Pop-Tarts, we got some cookies and cream. Personally, I think these are the best Pop-Tarts. I'm sorry, everyone that likes the cookie dough. I'm, I'm sorry. These are amazing. I'm so glad. I hope I have leftovers so I can eat these for breakfast tomorrow. All right, so we got a Pop-Tart here. We're gonna break this up. I don't know how the loaf of bread is gonna taste. All right, we got our Pop-Tart in there. I don't know if I wanna put two, cause that's quite a bit of Pop-Tart. Uh, oh well, oh well, oh well, that's a Pop-Tart. Let's let's mix it up, let's make it interesting. Two Pop-Tarts in here. Oh, 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 I dropped it. Oh, this is our ice cream. Pop-Tarts, chocolate, and a loaf of bread. It's beautiful, is it not? I think it is. Normally I would save all three for the end and eat them all at the same time, but this is gonna melt. So I'm gonna dig in it now, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna get a little bit of everything. Okay, so in this bite, I can see chocolate, I can see the cookie, I can see the Pop-Tart, but the bread will we'll come in a second. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm. You know, that really just ruins it. It was amazing. The Pop-Tart, the cookie, the ice cream, and the chocolate, but the bread? No! Oh my gosh. Pop-Tarts and ice cream? You guys gotta try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'd say that the first one is a success, other than this. Very good! Bowl number two. All right, so here's bowl number two. This is a smaller bowl. The bowl after this is our biggest bowl, so that's gonna be interesting. Wait, well, let's see what we're gonna land on. Spin number one for bowl number two. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. This time we'll go with a different cookie. This is an oatmeal cookie, so we will try this. You know, I never really thought for a, for a YouTube video I'd get to make ice cream. This is great. This is a dream come true, honestly. We're just gonna crumble this up into a bunch of different pieces and spin number two on bowl number two. Whipped cream it is. Beautiful. Spin number three on bowl number two. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, okay, all right, fair enough. I'm gonna, mm, mm, whatever. 
I can't even see the ice cream anymore, but okay. Final spin, final spin. Come on, give me something, something besides whipped cream. I swear if I get whipped cream again, I'm gonna throw this thing across. Fortunately, the only thing we have left is sugar cookie, so we're gonna get another sugar cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna crack this thing up and yep, yep. Ugh. Two layers of cookies and two layers of whipped cream. This thing is a masterpiece. All right, well, you know what they say. Your ice cream gets cold if you let it sit. They don't really say that. I mean, well, it's true, but you know. Only got whipped cream in that bite. Let's try to get a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of everything. Although I can't see the ice cream, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, that oatmeal cookie is pretty good. There's so much whipped cream. This is all whipped cream. I don't even know where the ice cream went. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is a bite of everything. If I can fit all this in my mouth, that's kind of ridiculous, but. No, it's really cold. It's really cold. I have brain freeze. <laughs> ah, it doesn't help. Ah! Okay, I'm good. It's pretty good. The first one was better though. All right, bowl number three. Now this bowl is bigger, but it doesn't have too much ice cream in it. I figured for this one, since our last one, we could spin it five times, or maybe even six times. Well, you know, whatever toppings fill up, okay? Here we go, spin number one out of, uh, I don't know. Small loaf bread, okay. Okay, we're off to a uh, absolutely wonderful start. Absolutely wonderful start. All right, buddy, get in there. All right, spin number two. Whatever, uh-huh. If you want whipped cream, you get whipped cream. Yep, now get back in there, thank you. Spin number three. Come on, come on! Something better than whipped cream and small loaves of bread of peanut butter, all right, that's whatever. Peanut butter, peanut butter, this is brand new peanut butter that I've never opened. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think that's enough. We'll kind of spread that out. There we go, okay. Hey, peanut butter in your ice cream isn't bad. It's kind of like Reese's ice cream. Spin it again. That was a good spin. I'm not gonna lie, that was... Some good old chocolate. bit on the bread as well. That was a really good spin. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I don't know why I whipped cream this out. Chocolate again. Okay, all right. You, re you really want some chocolate, don't you? I want some chocolate, don't you? I just used half the bottle. Spin number. I lost count. I'm just gonna wait till the bowl's full. Come on, come on. Something that can fill this bowl. Cookies. Fair enough. I mean, I honestly think we needed some. Cookies, 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 cookies. Spin number, I still don't know, I, I've lost track. I don't know, I don't know what spin number it is. It's warheads. We got three warheads. We got two black cherries and um, a lemon. <laughs> Great. These warheads are a little uh, melted, so they're kind of hard to get out of the package. They're actually extremely difficult to get out of the package and they're being very difficult. All right, buddy, you're gonna have to get out of the package. Otherwise, I am going to have to just eat you right now. There we go. Oh, it's all sticky. I don't know how these melted. They were inside the whole tie. I don't know. Do warheads just do that? Is that just a common thing? Maybe they're so sour that they melt and try to eat the plastic. Whoa. All right. Last warhead, there we go. All right, all the warheads are in there. My hands are extremely sticky, so I'll be right back and we're gonna go wash them. All right, we're good. Let's do another spin, why not? I'm surprised we haven't landed on egg yet. Then again, I'm also kind of glad because I really don't want an egg in my, we don't have a small loaf of bread. We used all of them. Let's just pretend that it landed on the big loaf because, well, we do have one of those. <laughs> I think this will be our last ingredient. How is this even gonna fit? Here we go, that works. I'm just gonna have to hold it a little bit. It's okay, it's okay. It just needs some, you know, some mental support here. This is our ice cream and um, it's perfect. Let's just go ahead and take a bite. Let's just see what it's all about. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It's covered in multiple, li there's so much chocolate. I can't express to you how much chocolate is in this thing. Mm-hmm, mm, mm. I didn't get any ice cream in that bite. <laughs> that does not mix. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, this is not good. Let's try to dig deep here. Let's get some ice cream. Let's get a warhead. Let's get a mix of everything. I think I got a warhead in here. I don't know. I can't even see. I can't tell. Mm -hmm. mm, take a little bite of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's, no. 
It's not, it's not cotton. Candy. It's really, really weird. I take a bite of the ice cream and it feels like I'm eating ice cream, right? And then I mix the bread into it and I kind of get like a small taste of the bread and the chocolate. So it tastes like I'm eating a croissant, like a chocolate croissant. And then it tastes like I'm eating ice cream and a cookie. Sourness and it's not that good. I would not recommend. No, no, just, yeah, don't, no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go um puke all this out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been definitely a, a unique one. A one of a kind for sure, but I need you guys still before you guys go to click that subscribe button because the amount of vlogs that I'm coming out in January and the year of 2019 is just going to be ridiculous and you guys are not going to want to miss them. This was fun though. I would recommend you guys trying this for yourself. Try to put like weird foods into your ice cream that you think wouldn't be good. Like for example, the pop tarts. The pop tarts were amazing. I actually think I'm gonna start doing that. But one thing is make sure it kind of matches. Like for example, I had vanilla ice cream and cookies and cream pop tarts. Now, if you have like strawberry ice cream and like cookie dough pop tart, I, th I don't know if that's gonna be, I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Make sure whatever you're mixing makes uh, just a little bit of sense. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it again. My name is Unspeakable and I will be seeing you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new video. And uh, that vlog is going to be probably in Canada. So um, keep your eyes peeled. Keep them peeled, keep the subscribe button clicked and I'll see you guys in two days in a brand new vlog. One day, sorry, one, one day, one day, not two days, one day. Maybe two days, probably one day. One day. One day. One day. One day.